Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to test uh, for current draw on any car circuit. So uh, obviously we have fuse panel with lots of different size fuses in there. And depending on the ampage, obviously that'll be what the circuits are designed to run up to. Uh, as time goes on and motors become less efficient and they have more resistance, obviously the current needed to drive that motor will increase to the point where it may start blowing fuses if the uh, if the resistance in the motor or the bulb or whatever circuit it is uh, becomes too high. So. How can we test the circuit for uh, how much ampage it is? Uh, well, first one, the easiest piece of equipment I've got here is called a fuse buddy or a car current tester, as you can see on it, and it will do up to 30 amps. It's the easiest piece of equipment to use in the world. You've got two different types of uh, spade fuse that you can use on it, the big one and the little one. And then what all we're gonna do is put the original fuse into here. They're not a lot of money, these are about 15 pounds. This particular one will do up to 30 amps, which is enough for most circuits, uh, apart from the main ignition ones. So what I'm gonna do is take off this fuse cover. I've already located the one that's uh, for the pop-up headlights. So that's one I'm gonna test for you now. So I'll remove that one. And all I'll be doing is putting the fuse into here to protect the circuit. And effectively this fuse bud is going to create an extra loop on the circuit. So rather than having to go into the door or into a panel to get to that circuit and put a multimeter into it, you can just simply put this in the fuse panel and get a reading of that circuit energized. So I'm just gonna plug that into the uh, port where that fuse was into here and plug it in and then what i'm going to do is take you guys with me oh, i'm going to put that up there to the windscreen and then what we'll do is we'll go around turn the ignition on um, and we'll see what draw we're getting here so the fuse itself is a 30 you should be nowhere near that if the circuit's healthy so uh, what have we got down here at the moment we've got zero zero dc let's turn it the other way around so it's easier and what I'm going to do is turn the pop-up lights on and we'll see exactly what uh, draw we're getting. So, ignition on, pop-up headlights up, 6.8. So you can see the 6.8 amps it took, it's a 30 amp circuit, um, so there's plenty of margin there. The motors are not in too bad condition on this one. Uh, if you were getting somewhere up near the, uh, the maximum, I was getting something in the 20 amp range, uh, I'd assume that the motor's got high degradation. It's taken a lot of current to, to turn that motor due to rust and internal faults. And I'd be looking to change the motor. But in this case, uh, plenty of margin there. Uh, it's a good test to do because obviously as I say, some fuses do multiple circuits. So just because it's doing the pop-up lights on this car, it might also be running heaters, stereos, um, wipers, anything else. So that some fuses use multiple circuits. By doing this test on each of the ones that the fuse covers, you'll be able to diagnose which circuits causing your fuse to blow. Hope that makes sense and we'll see you in the next one.